We've got 112 riders from 28 different countries all getting ready for this competition. Everyone goes into qualifying and then it's a matter of who breaks through into the 25 rider Gold Fleet final. From the 25 riders in that, it's the top 10 that go into the final day medal series and then it whittles down to who's gonna make it to the four rider final, four to come out with three medals and one of them will get gold and the European title. We have 45 knot winds across the Solent. It's too stormy for racing today. But it doesn't matter too much because we're in Portsmouth. We're in this amazing town where there is so much to do. The amazing shopping centre of Gumbworth Keys. Where the riders are making their own fun around the town. Some of the riders are also going to the Andrew Simpson Sailing Centre, showing some of the kids the potential of water sports, how much fun it is. So there's a lot to do in Portsmouth. We've been waiting it out for two days with 45 knot storms waiting to blow through. But today we finally got into the action. And in the men, on two different sides of the qualifying draw, we saw two different very approaches. Connor Bainbridge from Great Britain said he just wanted to keep it boring. He didn't want to push anything, just take it easy, do what he does best, and just try and get some good average scores. Well, he actually got some really good ones. He won some bullets. Meanwhile, on the other side of the draw, Yanis Maus from Germany taking a more risky approach, going for some port tax starts, really high tariff if you get that wrong, but he didn't. So interesting to see how the British and the Germans are approaching it. Also interesting that they are the front runners to grab the one qualifying spot that we have available here to go to the Olympic Games. Meanwhile, in the women, Ali Aldridge, the top rider from the very strong British squad, winning races today and leading her side of the draw. And Poema Newland from France, also going strong on the opposite side of the group. So really tricky, challenging day for everyone involved. We were really keen to work with the IKA, uh, the International Kiteboarding Association, as the newest discipline that's coming into the Games. The team at the RYA, together with Portsmouth City Council, have put a, a lot of work into delivering this event to the, to the best of our abilities. And also from an environmental perspective, we've really tried to make this event as sustainable as we possibly could. You know, we recognise that events do have impacts, uh, but it's beholden on us as event organisers to try and minimise them as much as possible. We're using the event as an opportunity to sort of launch um, some legacy um, programmes. We wish to connect the most deprived children in Portsmouth to the beach and to the sea, linking into future water sports opportunities and marine conservation. It provided a fantastic opportunity for the beach club because uh, it enabled some of the athletes to come down and meet the children. It was really magical to see and they were so inspired by it. You know, this has really been the launch pad and we're now you know, wanting to look at building the partnerships to do the next steps and ensure that this has a legacy. Day four of the Formula Kite European Championships on Eastney Beach near Portsmouth. It was the first day of Gold Fleet racing, so the top 25 men and the top 25 women competing head to head. We see a battle developing between the top two Italians. Riccardo Pianosi holding on to the lead, but it was Lorenzo Baschetti who was the only one to win two races today, and he moves up into second place. Connor Bainbridge from Great Britain, he needs to qualify for the Olympics at this event if he possibly can. He drops down to fourth, but still good enough to take that one qualifying spot that's available for Paris 2024. Meanwhile, in the women, Poema Newland, well, she had a crash in the first race, her first tack of the day. She felt a little bit asleep. It seems to take her a while for the French rider to wake up, but wake up she did because the next three races, she got three back-to-back -back bullets. So Poema Newland in the lead, Ellie Aldridge in second. She's from Great Britain and also from Great Britain in third, Lily Young.
Even when she started almost a minute behind the fleet because of a tangle with her kite on the beach, Ellie Aldridge managed to come through the fleet from down in the 20s to finishing third across the finish line. That combined with winning a couple of races today puts Ellie Aldridge at the top of the leaderboard. She goes into the final wearing the yellow bib and on match point. Now, Poema Newland, she felt like she'd had a pretty awful day. And OK, she did drop down from first, but she's only dropped down to second. So she still goes through to the four rider final. As for the men, well, the Italians, Riccardo Pianosi and Lorenzo Boschetti, booked their place in the four rider final. So who will join the Italians there? Could it be Connor Bainbridge from Great Britain, currently in third? Could it be Yanis Maus from Germany, currently in fourth? Ellie Aldridge, she was leading the first race of the final. She only needed to win that race. She was 100 metres from the finish, but then she didn't quite manage to keep her kite filling through the final jibe. It fluttered to the water. Annelus Lammets from the Netherlands swept past, took that race win. Was Ellie Aldridge going to manage to find the composure to win the next race? Well, she led more or less from the start. This time, whatever was going through the back of her mind, she got through that final jibe. She crossed the finish and she becomes women's European champion for the first time in her career. Meanwhile in the men, Riccardo Pianosi, well all he needed to do was win one race, but Maxime Nocher from France, he wins the first one. Pianosi, can he do it in the second? Pianosi eventually does come through and so the 18 year old Italian has won his first European title. And we've got two more countries qualified for the Olympic Games. Yanis Maus from Germany, he's qualified his country for next year at Paris 2024. Gisela Polito, she has qualified Spain for 2024. First of our podium winners from France, Paima Newland. So Paima Newland in third place, in second place from the Netherlands, Annelus Lammert. Get ready for this. The 2023 Formula Kite European Champion is Ellie Aldridge from Great Britain. In third place from Italy, Lorenzo Boschetti. In second place from France, an extraordinary performance by Maxime Nocher. The 2023 Formula Kite European Champion. He's only 18 years old, he's from Italy. It's Riccardo Pianosi. Yeah, for, for me it's a very good result for my, for my campaign for the Olympic and, uh, and I think uh, it's an incredible feeling. The, this week was amazing. Uh, I, do, I give everything I have every day and at the end the, res, the result pay all the sacrifice. Yeah, I'm very, very happy about that. Yeah, I've never actually won an event outright. I've won events where we've been in a mixed fleet with the guys as well, but I've never actually won in the final, like, 
the final final, so I'm really happy. I think our squad is really unique and we're actually really special. We have quite a lot of respect for each other and we get on really well and we're kind of we kind of like, wow, if we all push each other, then we'll all get better. And then whoever the person is that goes to the Olympics will hopefully then go win a gold medal for all of us. Um, but you know that you're, I don't know, you're just helping each other, you know? Like we always, we don't think of it in a, a selfish way. We try and think of it as in a, a team way. It's so cool to see how many people have come down to watch. Um, heaps of, yeah, friends and family and just local people from down here. Hopefully it will inspire more people to get out on the water as well.